mid 80s today. OK, are you burnt out on dinner ideas yet? Well, today just happens to be rotisserie chicken day. Just happens to be a staple in Leanne Towns household. She has a couple of easy dinner ideas and it worked too. You bring those things in all the time. Good morning, Leanne. Morning. I, well, I get one usually on Monday, and then I make meals out of it at work all week long, yes, right? You do. Yes, I love you do. this. Yeah. No, I'm laughing because I don't have one to show you because guess who needs to go to the store? Oh, no. Right here. But you know what they look like. You know, the cute little rotisserie chickens you find in the deli. Okay, so that's right. For 5 to $7, depending on where you, sh you shop, Todd, you can actually stretch these into some really nice meals. Uh, I, I had a co host, a co anchor at my old TV station who would actually eat one in one city. So I don't really recommend that so much. Maybe something like this. How about, Todd, this looks good. A DIY burrito bowl. Mm. So this requires zero cooking other than a little bit of microwaving, 90 seconds worth of microwaving. So you got to go ahead and chop up that rotisserie chicken. And then you got to go ahead and get some of that nor rice. You know, that rice you can find at like Family Dollar or whatever. You microwave it for 90 seconds. Chop up your avocado, your lettuce, your cheese, your onions, your tomatoes, whatever you normally would put into your burrito bowl, even some um, black beans and then get your sour cream and let everybody kind of make their own DIY burrito bowl. So there's that for Delicious. you. Delicious. You can make that. I know it's Taco Tuesday, but let's do bur uh, DIY burrito bowls instead. How about that? Or these, this is something we actually, um, we actually make these a lot in our household too. We love these. These are buffalo chicken taquitos. So I've been known to order a taquito too when I go into a Mexican restaurant. So this is a, a great option at home. This requires a little bit of cream cheese if you want to. You can go light on the cream cheese. Uh, you can do light ranch if you want, buffalo sauce, rotisserie chicken, shredded cheese, and then a package of flour tortillas. So you want to go ahead and uh, preheat your oven to 450 degrees. You want to spray down some olive oil spray, and then you go ahead and you mix everything up in a bowl, lay down your tortillas, plop everything, a couple scoops into each tortilla, and then roll them up tight, and then you uh, spray them again and throw them back in the oven for about 10 minutes or so. Flip them over another five minutes, and you get these crunchy, awesome Buffalo chicken taquitos. Something I've always, I love to eat those. I've never considered making them at home, but it looks really easy. Yeah, because you get the ones in the uh, frozen section, and they're not always so great for you. So this is kind of a better option. And like I said, you can kind of get away from using the cream cheese if you want to. And this last one, actually, this is something we make all the time, too. Maybe a couple times a week. These are uh, DIY tortilla pizzas. So you shred up the chicken, and then you go ahead and you, uh, preheat the oven to like 375. And you want to spray the olive oil again down on the cookie sheet. Put down your tortilla, spray the tortilla. We like to cook the tortilla before we actually make the whole pizza so you get a crunchy crust. And then go ahead and make your pizza as you would. Sometimes we do buffalo chicken pizza, whatever. And then throw it back in the oven after um, making your pizza for like 10 minutes. But this is also something you can do as a family of DIY too. So. We are big fans of making our own pizzas using the tortillas and the shredded rotisserie chicken. You so which one are you going to eat tonight, Todd? I have no idea. i got to pick one up first. You talked about your co-host that ate one of those in a si in one sitting, an entire chicken. But did he do it in under 17.12 seconds? That's that's the question. I bet you he could. I bet <laughs> you he could have. I had a laugh because what our sports guy had like four kids. And he's like, I used to feed my whole family one of those. And you sit here and eat it in a whole sitting. And he was just a... Just a big eater. He wasn't a really big guy, just a really big eater. So it was really funny to watch.